And, and it's just stuff like that that you have to be vigilant of uh, when working with these new, new component libraries, but it is fantastic. Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the third part of uh, Shad CN tutorial. Let me put on some music for us. Oh my gosh, this whole time I realized I was not even recording the music. <laughs> Let me re reline up the audio. Hold on. Um, so, so Shad CN, I, I had, I had uh, the step one, right? The, the first video and the second video that have done tremendously well. And, and it's because Shad CN is a really, really good library. So for anybody unfamiliar with it, it's, it's a component library, uh, largely for front end developers, it seems. And it's just, it's really powerful especially with Next.js. There's a ton of, of components and buttons you could pull in and, and components, avatars, ratios, and they added these new components and I wanted to cover those today. So they have a carousel. It shows you a little demo of it right here. They have a drawer um, like this. So super powerful stuff, right? Pagination component, all these things, all these things, just really, really powerful stuff. A resizable, which I, I'm not sure um, how I would personally integrate this but I, I can imagine it being incredibly useful right if like for algo expert that's that's a a a, 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 a tool that i've used uh, tremendously a few times i imagine that they have some sort of resizable here as well so so tools like that obviously uh, you could imagine are, are out of the box ready to go uh, or excuse me tools like that are incredibly useful for something that's out of the box and ready to go there's there's a ton of them so they just added more and it, get, it gets better. So I want to show you guys how I added this into this this product that uh, a dear friend of mine and, uh, and myself are building. His name is Chester, the infamous Chester that I've dropped on the channel a few times. Uh, this is one of our products. And and what it is, it's a it's a premium data collection service. But but in short, in short, um, I, I used one of the, the Chad CN components for this testimonial. And I want to show you guys that now. So let me kind of resize everything and get everything lined up for us. Um, I want to show you what that looks like in, in real usage. So what I want to do is kind of rebuild at least just the, the bare bones structure of it. Here's, here's what I've done. I have kind of this testimonial data. Let me move this off screen. Um, and this testimonial data, it has a few things, text, name, the company, all these things. And within that, I, I then added this carousel component that is directly from Shad CN. And guys, I'll show you how to do that. If you hadn't seen part one and two on Shad CN on, on this channel, it shows you how to integrate the library. So check those out. Um, but but I, I integrated the carousel and then I mapped over the carousel content so that I can just show if, if I need a new testimonial or need to add a new testimonial. Or I'm sure we'll link it to one of our endpoints at the back end. I can just add the data right here and then I'll, I'll get more and more uh, testimonials. So so that's that's how I've set it up, um, kind of kind of in a quick, quick, but robust way. And I, I want to show you guys how to how to kind of think of that. So so let's let's build some of this just on a new page. Um, so I'm going to come up to the app directory. Let me close everything and I'm going to add just a, a playground uh, uh, path, if you will. So let's let's go to that. Obviously, it doesn't exist yet. So I'll go to that endpoint here just as just as a blank page for us to um, integrate stuff. So page.tsx, of course, setting it up. Um, and let me do RFCE for a React snippet. Let's get that functional component in there and I'll re, uh, refactor some of this. I'll just put this up here. So you can see I have that space kind of 3D background and um, it looks good, looks good, right? But um, let's let's go ahead and just integrate this this resizable component, or excuse me, not the resizable, but the carousel. Let me play some more more tunes for you guys. Um, so so how to integrate a, a new component into Shad CN, right? Again, I, I showed it in parts one and two, but I'll, I'll show it one more time, no problem at all. One, make sure you have Shad, Shad CN installed on your machine. And the second thing you want to do is, is take the component you want, and then you just come down here to the installation. So we, we want to use this carousel. And after, and guys, again, it's it's super important to preface this. You, you need to install Shad CN number one. <laughs> but um, after that's installed, you know, after after you you choose your your framework and, and install it, right? Walk through the steps and all that. Um, you you just come down here to the installation, 
and boom, pop in the carousel component or whichever component you want. The, the, each of them will have their own little MPX command, right? MPX card, MPX uh, uh, and latest at the carousel and so on and so forth for all of them. Um, and it should install it, but because I've already installed it, it, it asked me this question, component carousel already exists. Would you like to overwrite? Sure, why not? Uh, to overwrite, run with the overwrite flag. Um, I, I guess I don't need to because it, it's already in there, but for the sake of this uh, tutorial, I'll go ahead and do that for you guys. So I've flagged it with the overwrite uh, flag. And, and basically what it's doing is just, it's adding the component to our components folder. So uh, let's see, component carousel exists. Would you like to overwrite? Sure. We've already done that. Okay, so so it looks like it's not going to let us overwrite, but but in short, you should be able to just pop that npx command in, and then it'll it'll pop in the carousel right into this UI folder in your components folder or your components directory. So that's step one is just installing it. Step two, let's go ahead and import the uh, carousel stuff into the file that we need it. So I'll go ahead and import it like this. And step three is now we need to add the carousel into our template. So I will add that here like this. And this is an important step because I noticed there's a lot of Shad CN. Um, and let me let me rerun the server real quick before making this point. Um, I, I've noticed there's a lot of kind of part threes with this new um, uh, components that are out, but but I'm not seeing people integrate them into the code. <laughs> and I think I think there's a reason why, because there's there's some bugs, there's some things left out with some of these these components that um, potentially could be a reason um, or, or people are just you know confident that everyone can integrate these things but but i i've i want to show you guys how to do it like step by step right so here obviously um, um you know we're, we're we're on this page I'm, I'm refreshing it waiting for the server to fire back up but yeah i i've, I've noticed that many different uh, uh, people aren't showing like the code on like how to how to maybe use these things which which I think is uh, uh, missing missing a, a, a bit of fruit if you will so so he, here's one way to think about using these carousels right um, is let, let's see what's going on here first let's let's get it all uh, working uh, because I, I, I had two bugs, two big ones with the carousel and then also with the, the drawer before I integrated them. So it looks like we're having the same carousel bug right here, which is, oh, because it's it's coming from this, uh, 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 what's it called, this module, when really it should be coming from components slash UI slash carousel. So 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 there's there's little little problems like that that, that aren't, um, I guess let me play another song real quick. But um, there's there's little issues like that that aren't aren't out of the box with with these new components, and I, I, I bet Shadsian's obviously going to work on them and, and fix these bugs because um, uh, it's, it's similar to drawer. There's like there, there's tiny bugs that if if you're not uh, uh, vigilant, you, you might miss them. So so and then and then if you, if you look at this right, this carousel, well, it's just it's just dots right now. Well, I, I wanted to show testimonies, right? Where, where's where's all my stuff, right? So, um, so I, I want to show you guys how to kind of build these things out fully, or at least a little bit more, right? Because right now the carousel is not working at all. There there's no buttons, there's no any of that stuff. So what we need to do is actually build out these these cards and this content. Still, we we need to actually. Uh, Put a little CSS on them, and uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's do with full BG red. Let's just see if we can get uh, some of this stuff working right. So I actually don't want to do with full. I'll do with one half. And in this parent div, oh, you could see you could see how this stuff is kind of built. Um, but in this parent div, I wanted I want to center everything real quick. So I'll say class name uh, equals with dash full. Um, flex, justify, center, item, center, um, and then I believe men dash height or, or men dash h dash screen for setting everything in the middle of the page. Perfect, awesome. So let's let's get rid of this uh, red stuff on this uh, line seventeen here. And boom, so so we at least can see right our our. our 
carousel roughly come together. Now, there's, it's still not working, though, as you can see. I'm clicking it. Nothing's happening. So, so let's, uh, let's actually go look at the base testimonials component and see what I did over here to get this working. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and steal a lot of this actually. And, I, and I'll put this code in the description as well for you guys. So it should be available for you guys. I'll just hard paste it in there. Or maybe put it in a, cause I, I can't give you guys this repository, not this one, but, but I, I should be able to get you some code somehow. So. Uh, let's remove the testimonials mapping real quick. Um, hold on. So let me just place all this real quick. Ryan, I'll say PEGS LLC. And let me just move this. Boom. Okay. So I, I just wanted to add a bit of code just to quickly clean it up and, and make it all look here and present so we could see it um and and th this is this is kind of step one right like obviously like make make your your carousels look proper but the second thing i want to do is, is show you guys how to think about this stuff so you saw we we were mapping through testimonials or mapping through data however you're going to use your carousels right so you you, you might want to consider setting them up this way because it's it's an effective way to to um uh, instantiate data and collect and uh, organize data, right? Whether whether you're, you're you're connecting this to endpoints or, or hard coding the the front end here, but um, let's let's go ahead and think of other carousels outside of testimonials, right? Uh, so maybe maybe of products, right? Let me play one more song for you guys as well. But let's say you have products, you have an array of products, and let's do an object in each product is going to have an ID. I'll say product name, right? Uh, maybe this is like, a, I don't know, a vacuum or something. Who knows? Um, and then you have a price, right? Of maybe it's a hundred bucks, expensive vacuum. And then and then maybe a description, right? Maybe it's like the Dyson something, right? Dyson uh, vacuum, it's the best. And let's, let's build three more products. So I just copy those down and we'll make them unique. So I'll change the IDs and then maybe this one will be instead of a vacuum this one will be I don't know piano I just see a keyboard on my desk so so came to mind right um, and then maybe this one will be a keyboard right so we have a vacuum we have a piano we have a keyboard right maybe this piano is 200 bucks and the keyboards 50 bucks and let's build this out real quick piano uh, has 88 keys right something like that uh, keyboard uh, great QWERTY effect, right? Is that what they call it? Great, great QWERTY setup. So um, this this is this is our data, if you will, right? Whether whether you're hitting an endpoint on the back end, you you want to think of your data in a structured way like this. And then I could take this data now, and I can map through these these carousels and uh, and build out full on carousels. So. Instead of, instead of hard coding an individual um, carousel, guys, I have no idea why the music stopped. My uh, my computer's done that a few times, right? When when everything's working together, it, it kind of kind of does that. When when I'm recording, Logic's recording and screen recording, it's it's it, it's a lot on the computer. But but hey, oh, it don't kill us; it makes us stronger, right? So. Guys, and, and my girlfriend's sleeping in the other room, so it's incredibly uncomfortable. Incredibly uncomfortable. Uh, <laughs> try, trying to record this video right now, but um, so we take the products, guys, and then we're gonna map through the products, and and we're gonna arrow function into this carousel item. The reason is, is uh, we can we can actually uh, put the data here instead of having to hard code each each uh what's it called each uh carousel or each testimonial or each product we can we can just go ahead and and put each individual one here right we should have these carousels now available to us i'm unsure why we can't scroll left and right still interesting um let's see what we did in the base, base testimonials real quick Interesting. Okay. Okay. Uh, doesn't look like we did anything different so far. So we should we should be able to slide through these. 
in theory, of course. So let me try to wrap it with a index Z50. We might lose the background real quick, but I want to make sure this is working. Yeah, it looks like we lost uh, the background, but guys, I, yeah, I'm not getting it scrolling. So, so the, the, again, the, the kind of part three with all the shed scene and stuff that I'm seeing just all over YouTube is um, conveniently people are leaving out the, the, the code integration part conveniently. So um, and, and this, this, this might be why, because it's, it's kind of a, uh, you know, there's, there's clearly, clearly some bugs or it's not as smooth as, as some of the other components, or maybe, maybe I don't know what I'm doing. You know, there's, there's that too, but, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and, and put these product, um, uh, pieces of data into into this uh, into these carousels, if you will, um, just by uh, you know accessing the data this way. So so I have my description. I'm going to pull in my product uh, dot description. So we can now see right all this data right. But we want the the goal is we want to see all three of them, not just uh, two of them or or just one of them, just the the Dyson right here right for the vacuum. So. Uh, let's let's see what, see what I did here as well. So we have these uh, carousel buttons, but I think that's already here. Yeah, it looks like we already have the carousel buttons. And let's see one more deal. Uh, so I'm looks like I'm inside the carousel content. Yep, we're doing that, and the, and it's still not working for some reason. But it is on the testimonials, which is so interesting. So let's let's go back to the uh, home page real quick. Let's let's just see what's going on. And I want to go to the page. It's just wrapped in the default layout. Um, so interesting, guys. So interesting because it works great. It works great over here, uh, and it doesn't look like we've changed anything when we come over here. So. Because uh, I'm running out of music too. Running out of music, out of songs to play. Uh, I got one more. I got one more. This was a this was a good record that I I used to play at live shows. It was so much fun, so much fun. But okay, so this is uh this is so interesting how it's not working. So we're mapping through the products and carousel item is here. Huh. Carousel content. Sorry guys, I, I know debugging is never fun. Maybe I'll clip some of this. Um, well, let's see, carousel, carousel content. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't see what we're doing differently to be honest. Oh, maybe we need an ID. Is that it? No, no, that wouldn't change anything. Let me let me try it though. I suppose. Give the server a second to reload. So weird, guys. So. But I do, I do want to have this real tutorial, right? Of like going through the code with you guys, showing how to debug it. Oh, boom, there it goes. Okay, so it looks like there's just some Z indexing stuff that's kind of making it a little wonky. Uh, let me let me undo this this width deal. So, and, and that might actually be exclusive to my project. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure to be honest. Um, but okay, so carousel, let me, let me go ahead and make this a little bit less of uh, uh, wide, so I'm gonna make it smaller, so we could we could scroll through all the all of our items. But I would just I would pay attention to some of these things with Shad Sienna. There, there's different indexing things. There's different uh, just just as as you guys saw the different uh, 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 import paths, and and it's just stuff like that that you have to be vigilant of uh, when working with these new new component libraries. But it is fantastic. You can see how easy that is to integrate. At least at least when we finally got it. So. Uh, guys, but I'm going to wrap it up here. I think that's uh, that's perfect. Um, I, I'll put this code in a separate repository 
from this ad server repository and uh, and i'll have that available for you guys in the description but thank you so 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 much for watching and i will see you on the next one cheers <laughs>